Hey, good morning, everybody. It's early mornings, LLA, the 6 a.m. edition. How are you? Did you cross the weekend? Wow, it's time to start the Monday morning. The toast is toasting, the butter is buttering, I'm here, you're here, and we could potentially see the third stimulus package bill this week. Overnight, there's been a lot of confusion, and the confusion has come from channels that have been feeding fake stories, literally untrue statements, saying that a $3,600 stimulus check is in the mail, a $2,000 stimulus check is in the mail, a $4,000 stimulus check is coming. There's nothing coming. <laughs> All that's coming is a lot of untrue statements from other channels. In this recording, I bring it back to truth. We go back to the first stimulus that is suddenly having new items being paid now. Second stimulus that this week will start to pay new items that have never been paid. And surprisingly, some items from the second stimulus package that might never get paid, even though they're a law. I'll go over that as well. And then finally, I'll go over those seven big executive orders that were passed or signed by Joe Biden last week that all impact your pocketbook. There's great news across the board. I'm so excited for you. It's a big new day, and this is Early Mornings Alight. Good morning, everybody. It's early morning's LA. I'm so excited for you. The toast is toast and the butter is butter and I'm here, you're here. And wow, there is so much stimulus to cover in this video. I'll be going over the first stimulus, the second stimulus, and the executive orders that all put stimulus in your hands. Meantime, I'll be giving you a preview of what could be happening this week for third stimulus. There's a lot of stuff going on, so if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. It's free to subscribe. Thank you for bringing us to 375,000 subscribers yesterday. And guess what? Today is our nine-month anniversary. Yes, nine months and 92 million viewers but we want to get to 100 million views this month. So help us by watching all the videos throughout today and this week because we want to get to 100 million views. We're only about 8 million away and we can do it. Also, like this video, it helps with the algorithm rankings and hit the alert button. Meantime, if you've not become a member, click the member link at the top of the chat, in the description, and also in the pinned comment. Become a purple power, Hawk or Calcino VIP. In this video, I'll be going over that PDF which I gave to members over the weekend, but you can follow along and take notes. I'm gonna go over items in the first stimulus that are finally being paid, items in the second stimulus that are finally being paid, and also that strange thing about items that are never gonna get paid? <laughs> what are we talking about here? Over there is an instant premiere, and as an instant premiere, you can chat with your Purple Power buddies and welcome anyone that newly joins the family. So if someone newly joins the Purple Power our family as a member during this recording, you will see it, and I encourage you to welcome that person by thanking them for becoming part of this incredible family. This is the best family online. We do not play games with facts, we only talk about facts, and we can see liars a mile away, whether they're on other channels or whether they're broadcast news, and the lies have really gone through the roof in the last few days. Darn you, darn you, no bueno. Stay far away from us. We don't want to talk to you folks. All you do is lie. There's no checks in the mail. It'd be nice if there was a check in the mail, but there's not. So stay away with that fake stuff. Oh my goodness. Let's get to the breaking news. The breaking news is all really good stuff. First stimulus items are being paid now that are unpaid for a while, and second stimulus items that have been unpaid for a while as well are now getting paid. So let's go through each of them slowly. Someone said, can you talk a little slower, LA? I'm talking slower. <laughs> first item, first stimulus. Some items had remained unpaid since March of last year, and what's getting paid now are EIDL grants from 2020 for low-income-based businesses. 
you never got the remainder of your $10,000 grant or never got any of the $10,000 grant, that is now getting paid by SBA. What is pending to be paid, meaning it's not being paid now, but it's coming up next on the burners, back burners, from first stimulus package, it's EIDL grants for everyone else from 2020. So if you're an EIDL grant applicant from 2020 and have not received the remainder of your $10,000 grant or any of the $10,000 grant, you're next up in this pool. All right, now you're up to date on first stimulus. Let's go to second stimulus. If you're following along on the PDF that I provide members, it's now starting around here. So the PDF goes over the items that are in the second stimulus package. First, the $600 stimulus check. The good news is that more viewers have now found that second that second stimulus check, the $600 one. No less than three viewers have said thank you for delivering on air a copy of that envelope that has a $600 debit card in it. I thought it was spam mail. I almost threw it away, or I did throw it away until I saw your video. I never thought I had a stimulus check in there. That's the first one. One of you also sent me a nice DM. I don't know if it's true, but it's so important to mention even if it's gossip. The viewer said that you can call up MetaBank and ask for a replacement debit card if you think you got it and you lost it or threw it away accidentally. I don't know if that's true, though. All right. FPUC is extended at $300 a week to March 2021 under the second stimulus law. UI is extended to March 2021, and PUA is extended to March 2021 under the second stimulus law. So what is pending to be paid, potentially this week, under the second stimulus law? Really exciting. Number seven, rent. Number eight, utilities. Number nine, free internet. And number 10, child care. All those items we have waited for them to be paid and they finally may start getting paid this week. Where? Rent is paid in the city and county where you live. So the money's landed from the federal government at the city county. That's where you should look for it. What items, what items are not going to be paid out? <laughs> uh, EIDL low income 2021 applicants and EIDL agricultural 2021 applicants. What do you mean, LOA, that's not going to be paid out? It's the law. <laughs> yeah, I mean, literally, it's not going to be paid out. What's going on here? What's going on is the following, is that there's laws that were passed under second stimulus, but there's not enough money being provided to SBA to fund those items. So what SBA, well, or even better said, there was money given to SBA to fund those items, and SBA has now diverted that money to be used to pay outstanding prior programs that were still unpaid. So they basically took the money that was supposed to be for second stimulus and used it for first stimulus. Very basic. So items not being paid out, EIDL 2020, 2021 applicants for grant, grant only. All right, so last week we had seven executive orders and, uh, excuse me, six executive orders. And I know some mistake on my PDF. I only listed five of them. So there's one missing on here. I just noticed it on camera now. Joe Biden's executive orders mean that they are now law. When executive orders sign, it becomes law. Let me answer some question I've seen a few people say, that they've not seen the executive orders published online where they're supposed to be. Joe Biden's fixing that. I've seen <laughs> I saw that problem also. I'm like, how do I get a copy of the executive order? Joe Biden's fixing that. There was some sort of IT problem with people. That's not to say that there's no <laughs> such executive order that he's just making it up. No, there was some IT problem with the website that he puts them on. Don't worry about that. So what are the executive orders? The first one is student loan debt moratorium. That's the one I forgot to list here. That is protected now to September. You don't have to pay principal interest on your student loan, federally backed student loan. Next, SNAP increase for 15% the entire year. What is SNAP? More about that in a second. PEBT, 15% increase and nationally, six months. More about that as well. That goes with SNAP. Third, eviction, fourth, eviction moratorium. The CDC eviction moratorium from October, from November, December, now in January, is extended again. Now it's to September 2021, 
and it's a CDC one. If you've done it before, don't have to do it again. Finally, mortgage forbearance. Mortgage forbearance is now is now on the books until September 21. Oh, and I forgot another one. Federal contractors. Federal contractors have to now pay $15 an hour minimum for their employees and also have to pay sick leave. Federal contractors are third parties like gardening companies or electricians that come in and work on federal properties as outside uh, contractors, basically. All right, what is SNAP? What is PEBT? This has been a big hit for viewers. SNAP is free food. SNAP is free food. How much does it pay? Well, family four in Hawaii, about $1,400 a month. How do you get it? Department of Agriculture. Call them up. What's the eligibility? It's about $49,000 or less, 2020, 2019, or maybe 2020 tax return. Uh, how, what, what's happening to it under all these, under all, under all these stimulus packages? Well, what, now with the executive order and the prior stimulus package, SNAP is now increased at 15% for one year automatically. You don't have to do anything. You just have to be on SNAP. And then there's PBET. What is that? Hey, that refers to when a child has to stay home from school because the school is closed because of COVID. Even though the kid's healthy, you're healthy, you have to make extra food for the kid at home because the school is not feeding the child. SNAP will provide you an additional approximately $115 a month to feed that kid. So additional $115 approximately per month per kid. Well, Joe Biden's executive order says, I'm gonna extend that for an additional 15%. There you go. So suddenly you are now up to date on everything that is in first, second, and executive order stimulus. So what should you expect to happen this week? You know, the big elephant in the room, I talk turkey, I don't mince words here. The big elephant in the room is Timing. Timing. I mean, we were told a thousand times that on day one, there was going to be a stimulus bill ready to rock and roll. It's still not there. Now, it does exist. The bill has been written. It's on Joe Biden's table in the White House, but that doesn't serve anyone any good. We were always under the assumption and certainly told on some occasions that the bill is going to be introduced to the House of Representatives maybe before even Inauguration Day. So it's ready to land on Joe Biden's table on day one, pass the House and pass the Senate and ready to sign and ready to get the money to go out. They haven't done any of that yet. They haven't done even the start of it. Now, I can understand they got to fix words and cross T's and dot I's, but they haven't done any of this. They haven't even introduced the bill to the House of Representatives. Now, understand the House of Representatives can pass anything they want in 10 seconds if they like. If this is Nancy Pelosi's house, if it's good, they're ready to pass it. Also understand the House of Representatives, when they get a bill, they sometimes have subcommittees that look at the bill and they do analysis and maybe they modify the language and fix the language. Are they even doing anything? Nancy Pelosi's group sometimes liked to work on language. We saw that in fall of 2020. They had a bill from Steve Mnuchin. They said, I got to work on the language of Steve's bill for a couple of weeks. We don't like the language. Well, are they going to wait to start that with Joe's bill in, you know, five years from now? What's going on here? I would have fully thought that the bill would have been introduced by the House of Representatives by now and passed in the House and heading over to the Senate. In fact, I talked about for weeks that the bill was just, you know, that could be held and been ready to go into the Senate when they signed, when they swore in Ossoff and Warnock on day one, and that once they have the number of votes, they could just wait until they get it done, and then they, they get them sworn in, and then if Joe's one the Joe's inaugurated, then you just give it to Joe's table. You can get it all ready by, you know, the 19th of January. Today's way past the 19th, folks. We're heading to second week of his administration. The bill ain't haven't been done. Uh, let's be frank here, folks. I love a press conference. Everyone loves some pop and circumstance. But I don't need any more talking. I need walking. I heard a press conference about a stimulus package. What was it, two weeks ago? Where is the darn bill? Jan Yellen talked about the bill last week, a week ago today on Capitol Hill, and said, hey, you know, the bill's going to do this, and the bill's going to do this. The question is, Jan Yellen, Secretary Treasury, uh, tre uh, Secretary Yellen, where's the bill? It's been a week. Can we see the bill? Is there some reason it's a hidden secret? You know, 
there was throughout 2020, I did a lot of videos about talking about where people were trying to hide bills from you because they didn't want you to see how bad it was. I hope it's not one of those circumstances. The bill is so bad we don't like it. Or that it's gone from however <laughs> where it was like a week ago and now it's actually gotten worse. Uh, or is it, you know, this is on top of issues like why does the bill have FPUC at $600 a week when we were pro at, F at $400 a week when we were promised $600 a week? Why is, SS why is Joe Biden quiet about SSI and SSDI? So, you know, this is clearly the elephant in the room. There's a lot of problems with the third stimulus package, but the most obvious problems is what the hell's going on here? Hey, what is going on here? Why haven't you started what you're supposed to do? What are you doing? What are you doing? Now, I certainly love a good clear air. I like a blue sky as much as you do. But Joe Biden did not need to spend the very first day of his administration talking about the, 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 the air quality around the United States under the Paris Climate Accord. The air quality is still going to be bad a week later. <laughs> it don't matter if you join a convention or leave a convention. The air quality is going to be bad a week later. Well, Americans need help right now. They don't need to wait five weeks while you're fixing the air quality uh, uh, over D.C. There's certain priorities that aren't making sense here. Don't put a priority of air quality before people's food on the table, Joe. If you agree with this video, take this video and tag the politicians. Hashtag FPC Retro, hashtag MSC, and hashtag SS200. Coming up next is Third Stimulus, in which I go over what is a Third Stimulus and why those hashtags are needed. Stay informed, stay focused. If you've not subscribed, please subscribe. Keep on subscribing. We're heading for 400,000. Tell all your friends to subscribe to this channel because this is the only channel that tells the truth and doesn't play games with facts or misleads people or tells people checks are going out. That's at other junk online. Also like this video. And if you've not become a member and want to become a member, click that link to join in the member comment. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, and Calcino VIP. I'm around the clock, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, helping people with questions, whether they're members or not members, on all social media platforms. Stay informed, stay focused, stay by life for more.